All right, hello, hello to all my guys, gals, and non-binary pals out there across the electrical ocean. We are a few minutes late to this game between Elephant Gun and Bob Mon. Uh, just uh, got to give my mind a chance to catch up. We've got uh, Broken Bones. Did that? Okay, uh, I must have been imagining things because I could have sworn that Broken Bones had no abilities. And I was going to say, if I missed Fading Recollection onto Broken Bones, I would I would be very disappointed. And I would probably cry because that would have been the most hilarious thing I would have seen in this game's entire history. But uh, Elephant Gun here, having both of his fonts threatened by, by Bob Mon's nonsense... Uh, he's playing, Bob Mon is playing a split between Shattered Peaks and Forsaken Waste, and then Elephant Gun is sporting Sundered Lands Under Depths. He's got, he's got a few, uh, he's got a few really big champions in play right now. He's got Iron Guard at max upgrades, well, kind of, and uh, Angel of War at 80 Nora versus Bob Mon's cheap shit, like fucking Sweeper and whatever. Oh no, yeah, this is, sorry, this is uh, Elephant Gun Sweeper, of course, because it's, you know, Sundered Lands. But Bobmon definitely playing uh, some kind of death benefit bullshit here. Got Soul Collector with the minimum <laughs> depression soul tap build. And uh, Angel of Death, yeah, Koreg, just the usual. Koreg Kore actually has a Tempest Crown, so Majestic. I mean, yeah, like he wins that. There's a Rage Band here, and then of course the Vertical Push that just went down onto that boss there, giving Bobmon the font. And man, I, I'm i just going to say it. I don't like Bob Mon, but he's, eh, from what I've seen, he's made some good moves so far. The Slaver's Whip is interesting because it, it, he used a sweep to knock the Mutant Doctor out of the font. That would have been a lot better, I think, if the bird was actually in the font. But I mean, getting sweep on cooldown, probably for the best. I mean, bird doesn't, there's a, bird doesn't even have to do anything, and he's just sitting around collecting, you know, Nora passively for for Bob Mon and, be, and being fine but uh, why is okay so there's a little bit of an observer bug the uh the sweeper is still showing as Bob Mon's champion in blue despite being returned to elephant guns control but in comes the confused from the doctor and uh, was that oh yeah that's pawn going off onto Koreg so angel taking some damage in in uh, Koreg's stead I think, like, Angel is already intensified. I'm not sure why, like, he could attack from two range. But, I mean, even, like, even with eight damage, like, uh, getting majestic like, he's not doing bad damage to the Korag, although I think Korag might get this kill here. If Bobmon could do a uh, Steel Life, a Soul Bane, what was, the hell was that? Uh, Korag, oh, Dark Pact, wait. Okay, so there was a Bad Blood that attempted to be cast, but... Uh, it was redirected onto the Koreg, and of course Koreg has Pariah now, so it can't be the target of spells. So bad bl or sorry, uh, Dark Pact just fizzled, which means that Bob Mon just casts it again and then, you know, kills the angel. So a little bit unfortunate there for Elephant Gun. So yeah, I mean, so Dark pa so basically what happened there is Dark Pact, yeah, it got redirected onto a target that cannot be targeted. So Bob Mon just gets, you know, Dark Pact fizzles and, you know, he can cast a spell again and that's how that works. So if it was anything but, like if it was like, eh, basically if it was like an AoE spell, it would have gotten around it. But it, uh, because Korag was always going to be the closest target, um, Elephant Gun really couldn't have done anything about that. But uh, Mutant Doctor here, it's, it's, not, it's really not looking good for Elephant Gun. Uh, just because like he's lost his top font, his bottom is contested for a while by the bird. I mean, Sweeper with 10 damage is doing okay, but uh, he's going to funnel all of his resources into the Iron Guard right now, going for a, uh, a newly buffed Soul Feed. So now the new Soul Feed gives Soul Tap Feedback, Essence Capture, and Soul Drinker. So it's sort of like a mandate, but um, it's different in the sense that it doesn't give any bonus damage. It just gives uh, sustain. So yeah, Elephant Gun going all in on this fucking Iron Guard. Soul, uh, soul feed and then a serpentor scale armor just making a big old super champ and actually he takes out one of bob mon's only answers which is the angel of death with corruption so uh iron guard getting two juicy soul drinks onto bob mon's champions and i mean at this point like bob mon has the font advantage but like what the fuck are you gonna do versus this boss there like you just lost an angel I mean, the Risen Moga is not going to last in that font for more than a turn. And I mean, like, he's got to make a push towards the Shrine. That's pay that's pretty much his only option at this point. 
just send everything towards the shrine and maybe force it to transfigure. Like deploy up here, just ignore this completely because you're not going to be killing this. In like I know Bobmon's, um, I know some of Bobmon's deck. I've seen a bit of what he's running in other games, and uh, from what I've seen, he does not have an answer to Iron Guard aside from the Angel. He might have like a Soul Reeve. He might have an Essence Drain, but beyond that, nothing really stands out. And, uh, Bird realizing it's outmatched runs from the font after getting its equipment shattered. So yeah, I mean, Bobmon having to give up that advantage, and probably mid as well. I, I really don't see him running in to sacrifice his Risen Moga for one's tur one turn's worth of font contesting. He kind of just has to turtle on his other font here, like move like out of uh, out of attack range as much as possible. And because Vossar Iron Guard cannot hit the shrine, yeah, he can. Yeah, he can move all the way up here. So yeah, I mean, he's gonna have to wait for a little bit, but. I mean, Iron Guard is probably just going to run right up and start wailing on that shrine because Elephant Gun knows, like in this position, you have to. I mean, you've got your big super champ here, and uh, there's no way like you out efficient uh, out efficiency Bobmon. Like going for the champs doesn't really accomplish much versus Bobmon's deck. There is a second angel, so maybe the corruption will come in handy here. Moga, Risen Moga, breathing some disease onto that Iron Guard. I mean, with this split, like. You gotta figure there's gonna be like there was a quickening earlier to kill the angel, so Elephant Gun's probably running two. He's probably running Dragonic Sacrifice and a bunch of other nonsense like that. So this is this is a battle of the cheese here. Do you want do you want the Gouda? Do you want the Gouda or do you want the Feta? And uh, Veldekai Sweeper getting one more hit onto the bird. That's gonna be a dead bird in the following turn. And you know, it's it, despite the way the font situation looks, it's fairly even. I would say I would even give the advantage here to Elven Gun, just because. Oh my God, and horrific mutation too. So now he even gets flying. Like he could, he could have even relic contested this font. I think I would have actually preferred that if he had a relic. Like assuming he, you know, he has one, rather than uh, rather than going for topside. But I mean, man, two hits onto the angel, and the angel is already down to eight HP. Uh, it's not looking good for Bobmon, I gotta say. Like, his deck, the way his deck plays, it really uh, shines in long, grindy games, and Elephant Gun is not giving him the opportunity. He's not letting him get into that situation at all. And, uh, you know, Mutant Doctor just chilling, you know, chilling in the font. Uh... Keeping it on lock, and of course he's running this for the dispel and shit. Because uh, one of the big enemies of Super Champ decks is uh, stuff that like impervious, stuff that can delay your Super Champ and uh, and keep it uh, like just harass it, CC it, keep it locked down while uh, everything else takes shots at it. So he runs the dispel and the confuse to get try and get mitigate that. Bobmon trying to keep that bird as uh, as inconven in, in in as inconvenient a space as possible. Uh, for for Bob Mon to have to kill, or sorry, for Elephant Gun to have to kill. Mm, and Korig actually redirects himself towards mid font for the contest and goes for an echo chamber. And that won't be enough to kill though, because uh, auras do get reduced by the SL bonus, so that will only be doing five damage to the mutant doctor. Mm, he probably he probably uh, forgot about that honestly. That uh, Elephant Gun was half. That the aura doesn't get uh, re that the aura gets reduced, but I mean, if that weren't the case, uh, he would get this fawn, and I would I would say uh, the scales would tip in favor of Bobmon in that scenario. Even though like he's gonna lose his top, like there's nothing he can do about that angel dying. Uh, the best he can manage is probably just hold it in the font for another turn, so Bobmon or so that Elephant Gun doesn't get a a font for free. But like. Yeah, it's really like once that Iron Guard swings over to the shrine, like it's pretty much over. Because even if Bob Mon transfigures, uh, Elephant Gun has flying now and he can just walk over the cliffs to chase him down. So I'm curious as to what Bob Mon is going to do. He's re he's thinking he's uh, thinking a long time on this turn. I, I wouldn't be surprised if after this game Bob Mon would throw in a doom, like just just doom that boss there and get her done. Uh, Elephant Gun is, uh, is half UD, so he could always sacrifice. But yeah, it seemed like given the deck Bobmon is running, I'm surprised he doesn't actually run Doom. Like at, it's at 45 Nora now, right? And uh, it, I would say it's pretty runnable for you know for that price compared to the 50 that it was at least. 
Uh, Bob on dropping Broken Bones bot and then uh, sp uh, surrendering the game, realizing he doesn't have a good out. So that'll be Elephant Guns win. Well played to both, and we'll see everyone in the next one.